Need something fresh and new? GoHamRadio.com. Log on, listen, and go ham. This is Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. Hello, hello. It is I, it is him, it is he, Mr. M-I-N-E-D. And you're tuned in to Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on GoHamRadio.com where we get in depth with the artists. We talk about their art, their background, music videos. We discuss grinding and elevation of the craft. Today, we have local San Diego duo, Divine Concept. I met Divine Concept at the Ham Fam Jam, which was also my first event working with Go Ham Radio. So before we get into the interview, we got a short, you know, promo of them performing at the Summer Ham Fam Jam. So please check it out. Get on up on my face, claiming that you love me. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Get on up on my face. <laughs> This is Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. Building a bridge between talent and industry. It's GoHamRadio.com. You're tuned in to Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. Welcome back. This is Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind. And we're here with melodic duo, Divine Concept. So... What's how y'all doing today? Tell us how y'all doing today. We're good. It's good. Everything's good. Yeah. Beautiful day outside. Yeah. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> first, let us know where you guys are from each. Um, I'm born and raised here in San Diego. All right. San Diego native. and Born and raised Virginia Beach, Virginia. All right. Welcome. Welcome. And what did each of you want to be when you grew up? <laughs> um, I, was always, I was always like a creative kid. I always wanted to be an actress or something in like the industry like that. Okay. And then I decided singing. And what about you? For me, I wanted to be obviously a sports player at first and then I kind of wanted to be a lawyer and then I kept like the creative side of me and just wanted to do art. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. So when did you each start taking music seriously? Like what was, what time did that start happening in your life? Um for me it was like Two years ago, probably. Okay. And what um what happened? What was like to you in that moment? You were like, "Oh, this is what I want to do." What happened around that? So, um, I just found the fun in writing songs and making music, and I felt like that's what a career should be. Okay. Okay. And and you, Marcus? Uh, for me, it was about five years ago. Um, just. Life took me that way. Okay. And just, you know, like, that's really how I kind of express myself through music and just fell in love with it. So how did you um, both develop your name? So um, can you tell us the people your name and then explain how you got it? Um, I go by June, okay. which is my middle name, as well as my grandmother's middle name. Wow. So I just kind of liked it. It was a short, easy thing to go by. <laughs> okay. So. And you got some history. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you, sir? Yeah, mine is Marcus Andre. All right. Uh, my first and middle name, just wanted to keep it organic. All right. That's what's up, man. And so how did you two meet to create this duo that we, we have? So on my side, like, I met up with this guy named Jesse, and, uh, you know, I hadn't heard from him in, like, four or five months. Okay. Uh, then he hit me back up. He was like, hey, you need to work with somebody. I was like, oh, okay, like, I'm interested. And then I ended up setting up a meeting with her at Starbucks, and then took off from there okay that's what's up where did the name divine concept come from where did where did that manifest itself <laughs> um well we got the word divine from a friend of ours and concept was just i mean we kind of just felt like we wanted to spread an overall message of like love and positivity and we right. felt like it was a divine concept, you know? Right. Something that was good to go off of, so. Yeah. That, that's really good. That's a good story. 
I should write that down. <laughs> um, how many shows have y'all done, you know, and who does the booking for those shows? We've done two shows. Okay. We currently don't have somebody that does our bookings. Nobody. We, we deal with that uh, ourselves, actually. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about marketing and promo. Besides, you you know, do you guys do that for yourself? And um, do you uh, <clears throat> go out and promo your music and make sure that the people get to it? Or So, so with marketing and promo, we kind of use the, like, we promo and market ourselves, but then, you know, our friends and family, they also promo and market, and then, you know, our fans and stuff like that. Like, so it spreads that way. Okay, more, more word of mouth and yeah, word person, of mouth. social media type yeah. thing. Okay. So your newest project, Divine Summer, was released on September 6th, but originally uh, salted for June 1st. What was the delay due to? So the delay was we just kind of <laughs> wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, we like so we were finishing up our mastering and everything, and you know our delays went through mastering and just trying to get everything done. Okay. Um, and then you know we kind of wanted to reschedule because we didn't want to rush it. We wanted it to come at the right time. Right. Right. So, well, it's here and it is does sound good. You know, I've heard some of the songs on there, and thank you, thank you. You know, you guys are really doing some creative stuff right there. So, what is the creative process be behind the recording of the songs on the uh, when you're recording together and other songs on the tracks? Um, it kind of starts out with the music. Either we find the music, or we have a friend make the beat for us, or whatever it is, and then we pretty much would just meet up every time we would get a beat and go over like our execution plan for the song like what kind of vibe do we want right. what mood do we want what's the theme and we just kind of like play off of each other with it yeah. yeah and i think there was only one song to where like we had well i, I don't care i had recorded at first mm -hmm. and then you know she heard it and she was like hey we need to do something to that and i was like nah i'm gonna just throw it away and mm -hmm. like actually it made it made perfect sense in okay. what we were doing so yeah so sometimes you know feeding off of one another helps the music grow definitely okay that's what's up so what have been some of the challenges that you both have faced in the creative process um i mean writer's block that's always a that sucks. Thing. it sucks <laughs> <laughs> um, and just like getting the chemistry down you know because we that was like our first time meeting okay working together anything like that I was new to the music game, so I had never really worked with another artist before. Right. Um, it was just kind of like, you know, growing that, like, respect for each other as artists. All right. Okay, so speaking about respect, do you guys have any arguments or disputes <laughs> that uh, oh, occur during your creative process? Definitely. Okay. I mean, that's a part of the creative process, <laughs> yeah. right? You kind of have to go through, like, all the emotions to really yeah. know somebody. Yeah, so. yeah. Sometimes. It's Definitely. a it's a relationship, you <laughs> know. Even though it's not, you know, emo, yeah. you know, on emotions and stuff like yeah. that, you still have to talk, uh, see how other person feels about what you guys are doing mm -hmm. together. So, see, and exactly. that that kind of goes back to respect, because like we came to a point where we were just like, you know, like I respect you and you respect me to where we can get over those arguments. Okay, you know, yeah, so. I see that. So, what did the vision, divine concept for the future, hold for us? What 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 can the vision be? You know, to for the fans let, let them know so right now we're you know planning a lot of shows a lot of tour uh, tour for next year wow so that's that's what we're planning right now and then can you give us a little uh some of the places you might be going or things you uh know, so we're, we're trying spoiler, to we're trying to bit. stay I'm, I'm not gonna give too much <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna try to stay in uh california okay a little bit and then kind of venture out to a few places outside of california All maybe right. texas uh maybe arizona stuff like that not too far but yeah you you're know. just trying to make it out there yeah Right, that's what's up. Do you have any music videos in the works right now? <laughs> yes, yes, we do. We're gonna be doing three music videos. Um, wow, what are the names so we could look so I could, you know, listen to them songs a little heavy so I could see them videos? <laughs> All right, so the first video we're gonna do is called Be You, and we kind of have a vision of just kind of including a lot of people in that and just kind of just showing people that you know, you got you should be yourself. Right. Uh, the second one is Sizzling, correct. Mm -hmm. The second mm -hmm. one's Sizzling. <laughs> and that's just like, a, we're just going to have fun with that one. <laughs> right. And then the third one is Gardens, just to kind of bring you back down and just kind of get like uh, intimate with you and just so you know where we're coming from. Okay, so out of the three videos that you guys are creating, is there the one of the one song out of the three that is most important to you? 
Gardens. Yeah. I like that performance, by the way. I did. Uh, that was the first time I heard that song at the Ham Fam Jam, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> so um, do you have any upcoming shows this month or anytime soon before you start your tour? We have a couple things in the works right now. They're not set in stone, but as of now, we have a potential two shows this month. All right. All right. Well, let the people know where they can find you, where they can find your um, music, where they can find behind-the-scenes videos and stuff that you do in your daily lives. Let them know where they can find each of you guys. You can find us uh, from music, all streaming platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Google, YouTube, whatever, anything. Um, Yeah. And then as far as videos, those will be posted on YouTube, and you can find us on Instagram at Divine Concept Music. And what's our Twitter? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Divine underscore concept. Okay. <laughs> but you could also you could Sometimes also there's too many accounts. Yeah, you can yeah. also <laughs> Well, you might get another one cuz there's this new app I checked out it's called Wave. It's a streaming platform so so artists and um consumers or music people who listen to music can create their own like page of who they like or what they, you know, what they listen to and it's good for artists mm-hmm. too. So, you might want to check into that cuz I Wave. Am, yeah, W A B. I'm letting all the artists that know come on behind the grind. So, nice. if I know anything, you guys will know. And, but you could also find us on our website, uh, divineconceptmusic.com. Website, see, that is where what I'm I talking about. That, that is your marketing right there. Why didn't you guys talk about that marketing right there? Yeah, so you guys hear that? That's the the website. Go there first. The album is up on there also, so you could listen to it there for free. For free download right. too. So for free download. So thank you again for coming today. We're going to take a quick break, and then when we return, we'll have a live performance from you guys. Correct. Yes. All right. Well, we'll be looking forward to that. Uh, take it away. Thank you. This is behind the grind with Mister Mind on Go Ham Radio. Building a bridge between talent and industry. It's GoHamRadio.com. You're tuned in to Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on Go Ham Radio. This is a GoHamRadio.com exclusive. Dancing on a tight road, moving through the gardens, moonwalking on the high note. All the 
flowers that I know Flourishing and earning shed light when the eyes close Third eye when the mind's close Bird's eye when it's not close Bird's eye stir pop that pedal when the wind blows Steady wins the race, I'm following the tempo So gracefully, the wind blows the leaves I lose my mind, then gather peace I love my life, everlasting peace No place I would rather be You shine bright like a sunflower Quenched by the fountain of you I am drenched by the beauty in you When you clench, I just dig into you Mesmerized, but I know what to do In the garden with the two lips I gravitate towards your lips You are my photosynthesis So sun-kissed Your glow to some shit You bloom so This has been a GoHamRadio.com exclusive. This is Behind the Grind with Mr. Mind on GoHam Radio. This segment has been brought to you by GoHamRadio.com.